地利，地地地利，地地利，地地地利。Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your boy Freshman Zero One, and we got the Young Bucks here, baby. We're gonna be doing some super kick and party and all that. So of course we're gonna start off with none other than Matt Jackson before we get on to the last one, which is Nick Jackson. Well, 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 full gear in, you guessed it, Jacksonville, Florida, throughout 11-7-2020. Now that is interesting. I think this was like in November, so there you go. Anyways, so uh, I think we're finished with all these guys, and I already said it from the beginning when I was talking about Lance Archer. I'm not interested in getting this Nyla Rose figure because I'm not a Nyla Rose fan, and I don't want to associate, just being honest. And you both have signatures of the Young Bucks. So, anyways, just to get the fair warning out of the way, I'm not interested in getting the Nyla Rose figure. Because I'm not a Nyla Rose fan. Just being honest, no hate to Nyla Rose. Great human being. Great human being and just a, a, a belongs, belongs if that person is a good person. That's it. So, I'm not saying he or she is bad because I don't know what she's supposed to be. So, yeah, there you go. Enough talking, y'all. Let's let's be the elite. All right, everybody. Here is good old Matt Jackson, who is also related to his other brother, Nick Jackson, which is this guy, which we'll get reviewing on very very soon. But for right now, we're going to focus on just him at the moment. So uh, let's get into this. So of course, if you don't know what the whole tire yellow and purple is representing, it's supposed to be the uh. Basketball late Lakers or something like that. I'm not a basketball type of fan, so I don't really care for for basketball because basketball is not my sport, and I can care less about it. So of course you can take off the jacket here, like so. And of course he is going to have some wrapping slash protection on him because you know you can't just add it. You can't just add the jacket while he's you know without the wrapping thing that's on him as we speak, which I'll explain. Once I get him out of his uh, jacket here. Okay, so the jacket's off. This is what it looks like when he's not wearing it. And again, it is, and it's a very rubbery jacket, which I don't like. I prefer cloth jackets. So once you take it off of him, he's going to have these little glasses, like see-through plastic papers. You can basically pull it off like so. Kind of like that. Just, you know, take it right off of him. It's supposed to like just protect him so he doesn't like get scratches or you know or doesn't damage the figure itself. So I feel like they kind of did a good job on it, you know, protecting you know, like the arms and chest and abdomen area, which is kind of very very nice. So I'm trying to get rid of all these as you can. You can always pop the hands off and then scoot them off like this. As I'm doing it, just move the hand down there, just. Try to just like that. All right, so here he is after getting all the plastic stuff out of him that was protecting the figure without get, getting damaged or ruined. So uh, let's see what we got here. Almost stopped him. Thank goodness. So uh, you have a screaming, yelling expression, and then you have this little uh, bandana that goes all the way around his head. Very interesting. So uh, of course you can split his legs sort of for the most part for the most part and then uh as we speak uh he can definitely bend his knees a little bit both of his knees his left and right knees of course so uh that's pretty nice got some boot rotations which is very very nice you gotta have that for every action figure and i'm pretty sure we're not gonna get any ankle pivots like you know you can just move his foot area but no ankle pivots unfortunately so it is what it is so you can uh I don't think you can spin this around. I think you could if you wanted to. So, yeah, I'm spinning it around as, as, as you guys can see. I'll do it again just in case you didn't see. So, yeah, you can spin it around just like that here. And then also if you want to, like, pull him off and, like, switch him, like, for, I don't know, like a plain black attire. So you could do, like, Bullet Club kind of colors, like black and white. You could do that if you wanted to with this head sculpt. If you want to do again, um, like I said, you can do what basically whatever you want with your action figure. Go go crazy with it. So uh, you can 
move all the way back up here and then if, like I said if you feel the abs here well I'm actually telling you my mistake if you pr put your thumb right here you can actually feel the actual abs in the stomach area which kind of feels pretty real so I'm kind of glad that they uh, made that realistic so I like that so of course we gotta go with the uh, arms going 60 degrees just like so very nice indeed and then also this smooths around oh that smooths around buttery smooth which I absolutely like very nice then you have some double jointed elbows here so you can do their iconic signature pose when they're doing their entrance so when their little muscles like so kind of like that a little bit oh yeah that's definitely some uh, young bucks taking on some action here and they don't come with interchangeable hands which is which is all right I don't want to get too much interchangeable hands because honestly it's gonna cost me so much stress and I do not want to collect too many of hands so just just give me the one regular one regular hands that they have and call it a day so so I think that's kind of about it on this figure actually he doesn't come with any accessories or anything he just comes with his jacket and himself as the figure so not bad he could have came with maybe some tag team titles because I think there were tag teams at the time I could be wrong they were their tag team champions at the time but I could be wrong on that so anyways that anyways that's about it on the um on one half of his brother so this is part one so you guys are about to see part two so uh stay tuned for that and uh, thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and uh yeah that should be about it see you guys